Now this video is all about the Champaka Villa. We're going to take a walk down there now because it's off the main road, but you'll see how exceptional it is. So all very well signposted, it's the Champaka Villa and let's go down. Morning again. Right now we're just a short walk down from the main road and all the hustle and bustle has gone. You can't hear any traffic noise whatsoever. And this is what Ubud's all about. But there's more to see. And down there we've got a nice little cow just hanging out. Some rice fields on the left. You're about to see why we chose this villa, apart from the fact that it's got four rooms. Right, now we're coming on to it. And this is the view that we wake up to every morning at the Champaka Villa. Stunning, glorious, peaceful, quiet, serene. Lots of words to describe it, but it's absolutely beautiful. Onto the villa. Now this is a relaxing area and a dining area. Got a huge table there as you can see. Loads of seating around. And there is the pool. Very still at this time in the morning. Now we just step down and turn around. So it's an infinity pool. And that is what you're looking out over. And here's the front of the villa, very imposing, nice and large. Obviously the four rooms, two at the top, two at the bottom. Sweep round over to the left, that's your seating and dining area with your kitchen. And one more swing round to have a look at the rice field. The kitchen area, obviously everything you need to cook for yourself if that's what you want to do. You've got uh, cold water and hot water there, or a coffee maker, and there's a kettle over there as well. Nice big fridge freezer. A uh, huge dining table. I'll have a quick look at the rooms as well. So this is one of the downstairs rooms. Again, all individually accessed. Now in this one, you've got two probably king size beds. Um, so up to four people could stay in this room alone. Ample storage. That door goes out into the main corridor of the building, into the stairs, so you can either come in through the door or through the sliding doors at the front, which overlook the pool. You've obviously got your safe, enough plug sockets to go around. One thing that I do like is the mosquito nets. I always prefer to sleep with mosquito nets, and if you've ever been out here, you'll know why. Right, let's go into the bathroom. So just have a look at the size of this bathroom. You've got a waterfall shower over in the corner, a bidet toilet, a huge bath which you can easily fit two people into. And over there you've got his and her sinks. You just come round and have a look out of the view that you get when you're having a bath. Little man working in the rice field there. So yeah, all in all, an exceptional room. The other one's very much like this on the uh, floor level. Um, however, you have got a swing over in that one. I'll see if I can get a picture of that for you. And this is the other bathroom, as I say. It's got a swing over in the uh, far side. And now if we go upstairs, so it's not going to be the tidiest of rooms that you're going to see, purely and simply because we've been here for five nights, just in the process of packing and we're going up to Lavina very shortly. But this is where I sit every morning. I get up around about 5.30, 6 o'clock, watch the sun come up, lovely. This is the room that we've been staying in. So again, plenty of storage, a couple of owls there and a horse on top. We had one suitcase underneath, one suitcase there. You've got all your hanging, uh, the safe. And then you come into the room 
king size bed in this. I think it is bigger than the ones downstairs. Somewhere to lounge, some more storage over there. Again, plenty of plugs. And if we come into the bathroom, here's the nurse sinks again. Mirror with very attractive man in it. Uh, waterfall shower over in the corner. And again, we've got the bidet toilet. So there's the waterfall shower. Two people in the bath, no problem. Or you can just sit and talk with the chairs. And again, this is the view out of the window when you're having a bath. That's an overview of the four rooms. Um, can't knock the size of them. And it's just after 7.30 and this is what I've woken up to. What a beautiful view of the rice fields. Serene, peaceful, and as I said, beautiful. And I've got my coffee to drink as well. So I'm getting this every morning, just typical of Bud really. I've also been getting this every morning as well. Breakfast is going to be delivered. Well, when I said delivered, it's going to be put out over there in about an hour's time. There's the villa. And let's see the entrance and what's around it. Just outside of the entrance where you walk down to the villa, you've got the Kalos restaurant, which is uh, really nice. It's sort of a Western come Indonesian restaurant. You can have your breakfast there and everything. A little bit further down, you've got a money changer, you've got a massage parlor. And if I spin round over here, you've got a supermarket as well. So you don't need to walk anywhere far to be able to fill up on essentials. And just down that way, about a five minute walk, you come to a major road junction. And if you cross over that, you're pretty much in Ubud. And it's another five to 10 minute walk to the center where the market is. In saying that it's only a five, 10 minute walk, we get grab bikes, they range anywhere from about 50p up to under a pound all the way into the center. Absolutely fantastic. If you did want to get a grab taxi, you're talking about 60,000 rupee, which is around about three pound if you use four of you. Here we are then, in summary, the Champaka four bedroom villa. Really quickly, if you want to stay in Ubud, you don't want the hustle and bustle of the town centre, you prefer to pay slightly more and you want something that's larger than the normal villa, the Champaka villa is absolutely ideal. You can see behind me the views that you get when you stay here. I'm waking up to this every morning, it's stunning. The sun starts to come up around about six o'clock, it comes up over in that direction, lights up the rice fields and uh, it's just a glorious view. With regard to the rooms, well each of the rooms is almost a self-contained holiday let in itself. You've got large bedrooms in each of the rooms, you've got an extremely large bathroom, Upstairs, you've got a, a veranda type room in each of the bedrooms. Having the four rooms is something we really wanted. Having two children, so they've got rooms of their own. We've got our own room as well. Uh, and they're all very private. There's no interconnecting doors or anything like that. They've all got their own entrances. So all in all, an ideal location and ideal rooms as well for a family. So something really to look at. And I, I struggled when we knew we were coming to Ubud. So it's the first time we've stayed in Ubud. Every time we come to Bali, we come to Ubud, but this is the first time we've actually stayed here. I know that there's lots and lots of places available to stay at. Lots of villas as well uh, towards the town centre and on the outskirts. But as I said, something that had three bedrooms and a view like this, very, very difficult to find. So the cost of it, well, we paid around about, I think it was around about 1200 and odd pounds. It, it, it could have been a little bit more than that uh, for five nights, but worth every penny, especially when you think that's, that's 1200 and odd divided by four, divided by how many people that you actually bring with you. If you bring uh, friends and family and, you, and they're all paying their own way, that, that amount of money soon comes down per person. So really cost effective. Rita, who I think is the owner, she's been exceptional. She's really helped us out. We got a, a lift from Nusa Dua where we stayed last all the way up, up here. Breakfast is on time every morning. She asks us what we want. It's always delivered. It's very tasty. Sets you off nicely for the day. Beautiful seating area over there. Beautiful eating area. Um, I'm sure if you wanted an evening meal, they'd be happy to cook it for you, obviously at a cost. And next, we're on our way up to Lavina, staying at uh, our favorite villa, which is the Easy J. Have a look at the video on that, it's exceptional. It's like coming home every time we get there. I'm going to be going up on the bike that I've hired from Bike to Go. Uh, the rest of the family is going up in a, in a taxi that we've organized. 
that's costing around about 600,000 so uh, about 30 pound to travel 70 kilometers uh, or 50 miles can't argue with that right well I hope you've enjoyed the the view of this villa um, it's definitely worth hiring if you want the four rooms I'm not too sure if they can be hired individually you'd have to contact the, the villa for that but yeah certainly a recommendation if you're coming to Ubud just as an aside, the lady that you saw with the wheelbarrow, she's brought all this block down over the last couple of days and also that block as well and she's still continuing to bring it down. Now that's hard work.